Yes. What did we talk about yesterday as the best way to find intercepts when it's in this form? We're going to put a zero in for x and then we can find the y or we can just use what's called the cover-up method. It's a trick, but it's not. What we're really saying is if I put a zero in there, two times zero would be zero. So why go through that work when you can just do this? And what do I have left? 5y equals 10. So my y-intercept is 2. I can do the same thing. If I'm going to insert a 0 for the y, 5 times 0 would go away. So I'm just going to cover it. And 10 is equal to 2x, which means my x-intercept is what? My x-intercept is 5. <coughs> But what I really want us practicing today is converting between the forms. So what I'd like us to do is to convert this into slope-intercept form. And to get that to, ch to be converted, we want to change this from ax plus by equals c to be y equals mx plus b plus u. So if you remember with our color coding yesterday, This and this, the A and the B, both got color coded the same color as our slope. And this got colored the same color as our B. Because B is just a number, it's not attached to any variable. And in this equation, the 10 is just a 10 and it doesn't have an X or a Y attached to it. Does that make sense? These two are both attached to the variables. We want to get the Y by itself. What do we want to move first? Minus the 2x. And if you notice, I put up above it the form we want it to be in. Right now we're going to have 5y is equal to <coughs> negative 2x plus 10. I just bumped that 10 over because I want it to be in the place of the b. And I moved this 2x to write after the equal sign because in this equation the number with the x is right after the equal sign. Does that make sense? Okay. This is not the slope though because the y is not by itself yet. So now we're going to divide by the 5 and every term here gets divided by it. And y is going to be equal to negative 2 over 5x plus 2. And that is in slope-intercept form. So we went from standard form to slope-intercept form. Once you guys get used to practicing these, I can show you next week how those two things would have created the same graph for us. We could have used the intercepts to just put two points on the graph and connect them. And now we've got this, we could put the y-intercept would be two. Hey, look, the y-intercept up here is what? And then we could use our slope to get our negative line. And I, got, I want you just to picture on a graph I should have brought my graph stamp up here. If this is 2 on the y-intercept, 5 would be over here, wouldn't it, on the x-intercept? And that would create a negative slope that if I was doing this completely accurately would be negative 2 over 5, where it's dropping down 2 and running across 5. Does that make sense? Okay. <clears throat> What questions do you have before I go on? Okay, and now I want us to write standard form when we're given a point and a slope.
So if you're given three comma one, and the slope is two. To get it to standard form, we're gonna have to start with point slope form, which was that crazy looking equation of y minus y sub one is equal to our slope times x minus x sub one. make it so you guys can see with the glare. Is that okay? Okay, it's kind of zoomed in, so let me know if it goes off screen. We're going to put our pieces here into place. Is the 3 the x or the y in this? It's the x. So it's going to go here, and the 1 is the? So it's going to go here. And then what's left to put in? The slope here is two. To get this to standard form, we're gonna to try to take it from this. Yeah, I'll move it back over in a second. To be ax plus by equals c. That's the form we wanna get it to. Right now we have it in point slope form. So first thing we want to do is distribute. What are we going to distribute? The two. So I'm going to write the left side down just as it is, and then I get 2x minus 6. Next thing I want to do is move this 1 to be with the other constant 6, negative 6. So I'm going to add this 1 to both sides. And I get y is equal to 2x minus 5. And right now, that's our favorite equation, isn't it? y equals mx plus b. We need the 2x to be on this side, though, for it to be in standard form. So I'm going to subtract it. And I end up with negative 2x plus y equals negative 5. It's almost there. Do you remember the hint I gave you that we wrote in our notes yesterday? What has to always be positive in this? The number that's in the place of the a. And right now we've got a negative 2 there. So I can multiply or divide this whole thing by negative 1. I'm going to multiply it by negative 1. And that's going to change everything's um, positive or negative to the opposite. So I end up with 2x minus y equals 5. Now that it's in standard form, we can easily find our intercepts, yes? y-intercept is going to be negative 5. And that makes sense because up here when it was in point slope form, we saw a negative 5 in the y-intercept spot. And x-intercept is going to be 5 over 2. So it's going to be between numbers on the, the graph. Okay, so this went from point slope form all the way down, finally we got to standard form. But in the middle, we had oops, I just put a T for an S. We had slope intercept form. So in our converting, we actually ended up with all three forms of the equation. We started off the here. In the middle, we had this one. 
And finally, at the end, we have this one.